Hello and welcome back to CubeVR. Last time I found the entrance to this nice little cave and as promised last time we will explore this today. And one nice thing actually, the cave build is now in the official CubeVR release. So that means everyone can enjoy the beautiful generated caves now. So I'm just going to build some torches because I can. No, um, it's because when I explored the, the caves in my live streams Stonebrick Studio the developer actually scolded me for not um, exploring like a new player would because I was using my bucket to fly and looked everywhere and stuff like this and yeah <laughs> he wanted me to see how it feels to explore the caves like a normal new player the problem with this is, new players probably don't have hundreds of torches in their inventory when they find a cave. But caves are awesome nonetheless, so feel free to check them out. So 51? 51 should be okay. Well then, let's start. So, maybe I should... Stone pathway? I can remove one stone pathway because I don't need it. And one of those. So I should get some blue star stones and maybe blue and golden shimmer stones as well. They are pretty nice but I want to have them. These are nice for my ceiling. So. Come on. Oh, come on. Then I would say Let's start exploring and maybe we should start here. Actually Stonebrick Studios released a trailer for the caves and even the trailer was awesome. It was really nice and well made. Somehow this reminds me of um, the room that I had as a children, as a child. And yeah, maybe you also had those glowing in the dark uh, star stickers that you could put on the ceiling and the walls and then at night they would glow. And yeah, the star stones actually reminds me of this a bit. It's really nice. I want to get some more. Getting resources. No. Some coal. Come here. <laughs> I already placed some torches last time and 
here we do have golden shimmer stone. That's uh, something here. It's actually pretty nice. Okay, there's nothing else. So let's get more star stones. Nice, 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 nice. I will put them on my ceiling in the cave. Actually, now it would be so much easier to search for a cave and just build a new temple in there. Here's one. Come. Forty-seven. That's okay. That's almost fifty. Ah, this cave seems to be a bit small. Hmm. I thought that it would be. A Bigger cave, actually. This is so awesome. It looks so nice, right? It is so cool going here, seeing this. I got some. Okay, only three cloakstone. I think I saw some cloakstones here, somewhere. There were some cloak stones. Mm -hmm. This thing. Where are they? I know that there were some cloak stones somewhere. Here? <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, I was the one who said that cloak stones should be as non-visible as possible and now I'm the one searching for them <laughs> because I can't see them. I saw them before. It was somewhere here. That's interesting. Where did I saw them? Hmm. 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 Strange. 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 Or was it here? No. Hmm. Where did I see them? Interesting. Oh, maybe I'm getting old and elusive. Is this the same cave? It should be. It's a... Hmm. Okay. So the cave is indeed bigger than it initially looked. This is... <laughs> it's still so cool. I should... should I get... Hmm. 
I want to get some ooh, white tiled stones. Ah, I found a... So I found the uh, cloak stones. So with the cloak stones I can make invisible torches. That's actually pretty nice if I want to uh, illuminate my cave. Then I can just place some floating torches and make them invisible. Oh. There's one more so. Now that I don't want them anymore, I find more than plenty of the cloak stones. So there's actually a white shimmer stone, similar to the blue and golden one. actually find those a bit deeper almost on the zero level of the height oh and actually I could I think what you can do with the blue shimmer stone you can use them for gold farming because they illuminate quite a lot then you can just dig around and then, before we had to collect it, the torch and place it again, but now we can just move the shimmer stone block. That makes mining a bit faster, or the search for gold at least. Then we can go down, see if there's any gold, and then we just move the block and get even deeper. That's nice. I'm pretty sure that I will use the blue shimmer stone for this quite often. So we're pretty high up, so getting white shimmer stone is a bit more on the impossible side. We can go a bit more in this direction. It's really cool that the caves are now officially released. <laughs> I've been here before. I see, I see. Ah, that's why I got my cloak stones. Ah, wow. So getting out of here without using the bucket is a bit tough. Yeah, I really have been here before. It's a really nice and big cave. It's not the most impressive one. I have seen way better ones <laughs> I don't want to say that this one wasn't nice it was still nice but I've seen things that you wouldn't believe 
<laughs> no, I, I really have seen some awesome, really awesome looking caves. So let's generate world. Maybe we can find another cave here. At least a couple of white shimmer stones would be nice. Because I can use them to illuminate my school. And see, here we have another cave. And this one is actually pretty empty. But, oh boy, ooh, okay, it's, it's not empty. <laughs> Whoa. The ceiling is still so awesome. That's nice. And here we have white shimmer stone. That's really nice. That's what I really wanted to get. Ah, now we're talking. I get eight. And just let me show how white the white shimmer stone is. See, perfectly white light. That's just nice. Uh. I should try to collect some normal shimmer stones as well so that I can maybe use them for some other builds. Oops, 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 oops. <laughs> the ceiling is pretty low, so yeah, I'm going to teleport here. It is really nice. So I got everything that I wanted to get. The best thing about the caves is if you see them for yourself in VR. That's just the best feeling. Like with the Aurora Borealis. If you see it for the first time in Cube VR, it's just awesome. And having the same thing now with the caves, it's really nice. Collecting, collecting, collecting. Ah. Today I actually made a list for my Vivi video for QPR because I plan to make a new one because my original Vivi video is the first Vivi video I ever made and 
Yeah, there are, are some things that I'm not really proud of. And yeah, now I have better graphics and a better understanding of the game and more confidence in my English skills. That means now I can make a review video on the same level as my Let's Plays and my other review videos. The problem is because I explained what QPR so many times in live streams that when I was recording the review video last time it felt like I was just being live and yeah I didn't want to have a review video that sounds like a live stream. <laughs> so I actually made a list what I want to show and what um, uh, order because there is quite a lot in QPR and just randomly naming this stuff could be a bit confusing so I wanted to have it in order and it's not as easy as it might sound at first because I wanted to show the few distance at first but that's actually something that I should mention a lot later in the video because um, you don't get the few distance from the start, you have to explore and that is something that I want to say a bit later. <laughs> Sorry. So. so, I think I came from here. When I teleport I can, good. So, and then here. Oh, there's some <laughs> light coming through. There's a little entrance. That's pretty cool. Ah, uh, cloak stones. Ah, you know what? Let's take the bucket, like I always do. <laughs> it is, if, if you fly over here and then you just see the veins, it is so cool. There's even more here. See, that's just a huge, big... Okay. This looks really nice. This looks like the Shimmer Stones are building a vein. A bit like it's a huge underground living thing. Wow. Seeing this with Death perception is so nice. I'm really sorry for you guys that you can't see this as awesome as I can. Ooh. No, oh, I have the problem that I don't know where I came from. So, how do I get out of here? <laughs> Oh no. Hmm. Let's see if I can get out of here somehow. Wait, 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 I saw some light somewhere here. 
that there was light coming from above somewhere. But I just have to find it. I f I think there's something. Ah, there's the sky. Ooh, I made it outside. That's a nice cave. So I'm definitely going to remember the settings. 1200 by minus 2600. So let's go back home. It's actually this way? Okay. Ah, this way is nice. Okay, this way. Even though that there are no generated mountains? Hmm. I'm not so sure. Let me take a look. There's also a cave there. So there's a, there's a mountain, so that means that there is... Oh, there's also territory. Ah... Uh, I think I know where I am now. Let me just get up a little bit. Hey, this is... It was the right direction. I think this is my starting area. Yeah, there's nothing here. There's desert. And I think it's somewhere here. We are generating new terrain. Oh, that's actually a pretty nice mountain. That's cool. So, I should be able to recognize this pretty soon. Maybe I can see my Evangelion. Even though it's not finished, it's still pretty big. And in the past... Oh, there are some normal caves. In the past I was able to... Oh, is this a cave? This definitely is a cave. I think there was also one here. No, okay. But there was definitely something. So let's go. Go, 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 go. And golden again. Ooh. It's a golden blue one again. This one looks like it's red. <laughs> Ooh, this is cool. Wow. The cover looks a bit wet. Actually, I just noticed that the copper textures looks 
pretty much just put on the surface. Hmm. Ah, oh, there's the exit. Up there. Great. So let me teleport up somehow, please. Somehow I just... Oh, I can't get out here. Let's take this place here. That's the easy route. So. No? Okay, this way. Gold? No. <laughs> this mountain looks pretty nice. Let's just teleport. Just want to get as high up as possible. I think my starting point should be somewhere here. Well, not right here, but in at least in this direction. So the caves are not so far away. That's good. And now I have the coordinates for the one with the white shimmer stones. So I can still use them if I need more. That's nice. I'm still looking for the little island with the tree on it. That's like one of my orientation points. I was pretty sure that it should be somewhere here. To be honest, this doesn't look familiar. No, so I'm not so sure. No, oh, there's desert. The good thing is, there's always desert. And I built near a desert. That means as long as I keep track of the desert, I should be able to somehow find my way home. There's another awesome cave. Well, not really a cave, but a hole where you could build something. So I think a bit more to the left should be because I think I'm at the uh, border and there should be yeah there's the tree with the little floating block or the block with the tree yeah and this is actually the wall that I had in this direction where I never wanted to cross so that I could get new biomes That means my desert temple should be there. Still a very beautiful world generation. Nice. 
nice, nice, nice. Let's see when I can spot my temple. I'm sure that I can't see my suspension bridge, of course. Uh, but nah, I don't think that I can see my observatory. But here you can see how far I can look. All of my five kilometers. It still takes a while to get there. Even though it's faster by flying because I don't have to go up and down. It still takes quite a while. It feels like I just had to uh, go s east. I think it's north. There's the there goes um, there's sunrise. There is um, the sundown. That means yeah, behind me is north. This is east. Ah, there's unexplored territory. Ah, oh, I'm a bit too close, so yeah. Ah, and back there I can see the uh, edge of my view distance getting into view. That just shows how vast this desert is. And behind the desert, there is another big desert. I can still remember how I explored all of this. And it took so long just to discover this little patch of desert. I was able to reach this part and this part and it took forever. Then I had a stream to fill out the gaps in between and yeah, over the next couple of months I had multiple streams just to get my view distance filled out. <sighs> ah, I can see something. I can see my Vingelion there! And there's my little lake and the mayor house and my farming house. Eh? I didn't remove this, okay. Then let's do this. Oh, there are some crystals, but I, I don't need crystals. I have plenty in front of my cave entrance, my little man-made cave. Hey ho, let's go. Now I can replace the torches with the white shimmer stone tiles. I can start um, at the second floor. <laughs> so first I should maybe try to get here. And nice.
Haha, <laughs> I can have like those long corridor lamps. That definitely makes a difference. That's nice. So maybe I could just place them in set intervals. Yeah, I think if I place them in a set interval in the ceiling, I can have it nice and bright. Nice. Then I would say that was a really successful cave raid. <laughs> Getting my stones. So maybe I should modify my school next time or the cave ceiling i'm not sure i will decide spontaneously next time so till then i hope that you will stay healthy i also hope that you enjoyed today's episode thanks for watching and please fly again with chippy airlines <laughs> nah jokes aside i really appreciate you watching my videos Stay healthy till next time. Bye!